and it's the start here of Game 3 of the NBA Finals. 2K Sports postseason presentation of the NBA, and it's tied 1-1. Our game tonight featuring the Chicago Bulls as they go up against the Houston Rockets. I'm Kevin Harlan with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg. On the sideline, David Aldridge. Chicago. Here's King, and the layup is good. You know King is looking for that high percentage shot, and he'll work hard to make sure he gets it. Johnson outside. There's the pick. Back and forth. He gets it to go from 18 feet away. Here's Pressel. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Over Johnson. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. With him, the scouting report says you've got to go over the screen. Absolutely. He'll hurt you from deep. So you have to fight through those picks. Now, here's Johnson. Johnson. Over for Valentine. That's good from Johnson on the assist by Thompson. And this team encourages Magic to look for a shot, especially from mid-range. Here's Chicago. To the right side. King against Johnson. And here is Valentine. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Just straight tricking the defender with the shot fake. This is how it's done. High post, Johnson. Here's McAdoo. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. McAdoo's ability from mid-range really opens up a lot of the floor for him. His mechanics, flawless. Valentine. Pass to Sigma. It's rebounded by Houston. And this is how you defend a player like him. Nice job contesting without fouling. Johnson surveying the floor. And they take the lead. Johnson. Johnson's got his second bucket of the night. This is where Magic thrives, a master at toying with defenders in screen and roll. Chicago calls timeout. Shot clock. Johnson against King. His shot is good, making a perfect two for two from the floor. Clearly, he's found his rhythm early in this one. Looking to score whenever he can, whenever he has. And this team encourages him to be active on Because they understand how dangerous he could be. Johnson finds Johnson. Now here's Johnson. Shoots it. And he's again with the bucket. You can count on Mark 
Marcus Johnson, a reliable scorer who knows when to shoot. Here's Preston. Kick out to King. Over Johnson. King, that's good. King's got six points. Such a gifted offensive player. He can hurt you in a variety of ways. He's a headache for opposing defense. Six feet out. Akadu misses. Man, I can't believe he blew that gimme, guys. Well, I know he's frustrated about that. Pass to Preston. The defense forced him to turn up the intensity, but his defense do get him sent to the line. And the Rockets making a change here. Tucker's checked in. Rocket substitution, number six, Trent Tucker. Rockets have gone five of six so far from the field to start out the game. And Johnson now top of the key on the wing. Johnson releases. And it falls Marcus over the rim and Johnson. in. Assistant. Here's Valentine. Johnson. Up top, King. Pass to Preston. Inside. Here's Overdale. And it's good for two. What a finished against contact. He definitely earned that bucket. For Houston, they've got a sense of seven shots to fall in the first half. They're off and running. Johnson outside. Johnson draws the double. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Tucker. It's hauled in by Sitton. That's a shot he's right back. He won't miss those very often. Well, a good look. If he gets shots like that, they'll be all right. Valentine shot good. Just owning that painted area. I guess the motto is do it until they stop it. Mr. McAdoo. Now here's Thompson. On the wing, Jackson. After rolling Johnson. around the rim. Johnson's got six points. The energy Magic brings to his offensive game is undeniable. His passion and joy in playing, palpable. No way for the defender to keep up with him there. King, that's good. A well-timed feed was the catalyst for that bucket. That's how you set someone up for success. Johnson, the pass to Mackin. Fades back. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Johnson's got three assists now in this one. Valentine with it. King, the pass to Overding. Back to King. Can't cash in from the high post. Got some space in the mid-range, but wasn't able to convert. Still, not a bad chance for him. Here's Johnson, and Houston again with the bucket. Johnson. There's a reason they call him Magic. How'd he find him? The Bulls have gone 8 of 11 in the first quarter. They'll take that percentage any now. Tressy gets an open look and hits. Tressy's got his second bucket of the game to go. Right from the jump, these teams have been on fire offensively. It certainly made this an exciting early game. This is just keep falling. Now here's Johnson. Six points for him. And he makes good on the way. Eight points for him. With his handles and passing, you forget Magic is 6'9". Can bump down low. Out to the right wing. Johnson against King, and out of bounds as the Rockets He's gain possession. Davis is checked in for Chicago, and a switch here also for Houston. Tucker's checked in. Here's Tucker. Scoreless thus far. Pass to Johnson. And it's blocked. It's out of bounds to the Rockets as Houston retains possession. 
boost in making a switch. Pippen's checked in. Number 41, Charles Pippen. Here's Johnson. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Nice work from the mid-range. Johnson is creative at finding space to get his shot off. Valentine passes to Pressy. Back to Valentine. Shot clock at six. Driving the lane. Showed off his defensive abilities. McAdoo hustles to get a hand on the shot. Thompson outside. And stolen by Valentine. Tucker dishes to Thompson. And here's Tucker. Shoots from the high post. Shot is good off the back rim and in. And now a four-point rocket lead. And here are the Bulls now. Pass to Oberdin. Here is Sigma. Hasn't made one yet. Now Valentine, guarded by Tucker. Five on the clock. Great look there, but off target. And here are the Rockets now. They're at 12 to 4 run right now. Johnson kicks it to Tucker. McAdoo, the pass to Johnson. Chicago grabs a miss. Now, Valentine. Pass to Pressy. Over Johnson. And a little luck that time, but it drops. Pressy's got eight points. So decisive on offense. I like seeing him go right up with the J. Tucker the pass to Thompson. And here is Johnson. Started by Davis. And the slam dunk by Johnson. Rising up. That's why they call Johnson the slammer. Bulls trail by Two four. Minutes. Two minutes. 157 left here in the first quarter. Valentine with it. He's against Tucker. Here's Davis. And there's the drive. Basket good. Well, you love the competitive spirit and instinct going right at the bigger defender. It's required at this level. Overcoming the size and strength of NBA defenders is not easy. And the Rockets with possession here. After Chicago picking up the basket just moments ago. Thompson from close range. Pretty much automatic. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Bulls. Trailing by four. It came out on top in their last match on Wednesday. Tell you what, they had that scoreboard singing and dinging. Giving them that work. An impressive win without question. Undaunted on the ground. And what a strong take that was. Just going right at the bigger defender. Finishes like that demonstrate confidence. And should in turn improve his after that play. Substitution on the court. 106 left to play in the first quarter. Harris outside. Pass to Johnson. Holds up on the wing. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. He's got 12. Right now, Johnson is challenging the defense and doing it successfully. They need a new game plan for him. Outside, Davis. Here's Cooper. Outside, Davis. Now, Jordan just fine on the clock. He gets it in there. Houston in the lead. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. Johnson right side. And it's Houston with another. He has been in some kind of groove here lately, really cooking on the offensive end. Yep, this is exactly what we saw from him in their last game. Lots of confidence. Now, here's Jordan. Down low. Here's Sigma. Plays it up off the glass. They don't hesitate when they get their opportunity to punch it inside. Scoring first quarter, both teams really filling up. 
Hawkins on top. They're up by one. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. you all set to bring you more action from game three and let's get your take guys on the scoring breakdown for Houston right away we've seen them finding points with solid post play they're playing aggressively and fighting for it down there in addition to that how about the mid-range action we've seen from this group utilizing the jump shot to get them started in the right manner in this group and the best is by Johnson Nice execution by Magic. I like how he focuses on taking high percentage shots. Right wing to the inside. King inside. Covered by Johnson. Great effort defensively. Staying connected. To the paint. Scott. Good. Now it's a five-point Houston lead. Nothing like setting someone up feels better than making a shot, to me at least. Jordan deciding where to go with it. Good ball move here by the ball. Five to shoot. Here's King on target from 13 feet. King's got 10 points in the game. At home in the mid range. We normally see King fire from that area and closer. Down low, here's Johnson. Great pass to set up the lay-in. Johnson. Johnson's got the lead up to five now for the Rockets. Jordan passes to King. Got that one up and quick. King's got four points in the quarter. King putting that quickness on display right there. And Tucker kicks to Pittman. And up top, 12 points for him. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. He couldn't quite convert, almost had the end one. Physical defense, making him earn it from the line. Holes have gone two or three for the field here over in the second quarter. Here's Davis, and the Bulls take on two more. You can tell that stroke has been perfectly crafted through hundreds of shots. Punishing those late defensive rotations, getting good looks inside throughout the half. Jordan outside, pass to King. That one falls. 14 points for him. Drawing a lot of contact night in and night out. This is one of the ways King earns his living. Johnson outside. Shoots over Jordan. Pittman misses. Bulls trail by three. Inside, Verhoeven. And the Bulls tack on two more. Nice feed there. Setting up his teammate perfectly for the bucket inside. Jordan against Johnson. They double team Johnson. Got the pass to Elmore. And that one drops. Elmore has got four this quarter. You have to love the unselfishness on display there. Excellent pass. Pass to King. Fires from the wing. And the Bulls tag on two more. When you've got Bernard King on your team, you're expecting big scoring nights. It's surprising when he doesn't go for big numbers. He's just that good. Now, here's Scott. I both try, and he comes up with the deuce. And the Rockets lead by three. For Chicago, they've gotten all but one of their seven shots in the second quarter to drop. Pretty impressive. Here's Cooper. It's blocked. Now, here's Tucker. He's defended by Jordan. 
A nice shot by Tucker. Now it's a five-point Houston lead. I think the defense gave him a bit of a gift there. I mean, he got all the space he needed to go to work. Jordan outside. From about 19 feet, out of bounds, Houston takes possession. Well, I think that pass caught him off guard. He showed us more hands, too. McAdoo is checked in for Houston. Johnson comes in for Scott. Gets leading by five. Johnson outside. Johnson up top. Pass to Tucker. I pose Johnson. He's got 14. Lucky seven drops in. He's perfect from the floor. Seven for seven. And when Magic has it going on, clear the way. He can dominate games all by himself. Here's King. And that one is stuffed right through. That's what this team needs right now. You're right. Cutting the deficit with the one-handed flush. Maybe that can give them a little spark. Now here's Johnson. So it's Davis bringing the ball up for Chicago. It's a five-point game, and that one is good. Davis has gotten out. Rockets have gone eight of ten from the field here in the second quarter. We've got to like how they shot the ball. I pose Johnson. He's got 16. Yes, that goes in. At his Johnson. position as a point guard, there are not many players that possess the size that Magic Johnson has. And he knows how to use it on the interior. Now, here's Valentine. That one's in there. Rocket lead is cut down now to just three in the basket from King. He's been a reliable offensive option, currently maintaining an impressive field goal percentage in this game. Davis against Johnson. Johnson outside. Pass to Tucker. And here is Johnson. Over Cooper. And the shot is good from Johnson. Johnson's got his second basket of the game. And, you know, he's going to take that shot every time. The defense has to respect him from the mid-range. And here is Valentine. Outside, Davis. Back to Valentine. Over Johnson. It's good. And the Rocket lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Valentine. Absolutely fearless with that mid-range shot. Surprised he got it up and over. That looks like he just knew where he was on the court. A great job to finish. Now, oh, here's Johnson. Pass to Tucker. I pose Johnson. And there's Johnson. That's good. On the assist from Tucker. Tucker's got four assists in the game. And now the first timeout called here for the Bulls. on the pick there. They've got to get over it. And every time they don't, they're just allowing the shooter to find the jumper. Valentine passes to Sigma. 
A fader. That one goes. Just count it. Sickman's got his third basket of the night right there. Houston in by three. Johnson outside. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Johnson's got 22 points. And Chicago shooting a mind-boggling 79% off the floor. Davis takes to Pressy. Shoots from the elbow. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. On the wing, Johnson. He's got 22. Johnson draws the double. That one good for two. 24 points for him. When a guy gets this locked in, you just let him go off. No reason to stop running things through him. Valentine dishes to Davis. Here's Sigma. To the middle. Here's Overnight. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Slamming it down with the single forearm right there. Woo, and the whip that he was able to get on that. Wow, incredible. That could be a game-changing finish. Now here's Johnson. He's got 24. Johnson outside. The 11th footer, and he makes that one. Johnson's got eight points. The D has to be better, or else he will drain this shot. Outside, Davis. No one near him. Uses the glass to drop it in. Davis has got six here in this quarter. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Rockets. Three-point lead. Totally in sync. Who knows where the ball is going and is right there to finish it off. Johnson. And the Bulls with possession. There's 126 left now here in the second. And it's sent back by McAdoo. Now, Valentine. He's got six. And that one drops for him. He's got eight. Going on the attack, working his way into a nice shot. Johnson right side. Pass to McAdoo. Fader on the way. And it's Houston with another. That's an awful defensive lapse, allowing the uncontested jumper. 50 seconds left here in the second. Pressy passes to Sigma. Count it. Good. There's 42 seconds left in the first half. Johnson outside. On the wing, Johnson. Thompson, high post. Shot on the wing. That's good from Johnson on the assist by Thompson. Thompson's got three assists tonight. This is why coaches preach ball movement. It keeps everyone engaged. Now here's Davis. 11 points in the game. Pass to Presser. Back to Davis. And for the ball out of bounds, Davis touched it last. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. It's a different kind of defense teams play in the postseason. Much more intense, more in your face. High energy plays like that one are winning plays. 11 seconds left to play in the first half. Johnson outside. Here's McAdoo. Can't cash in from close range. Magic Johnson. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Houston Rockets. He has really delivered at the offensive end. He's torched them for 24 points so far. And we'll be back with you shortly. back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. A fantastic game for Magic Johnson in this one. Don't think you can be much more efficient offensively than that. Not being one-dimensional either. Got to get done multiple ways. And 
And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Thompson, high post. Pass to McAdoo. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got four assists in the game. That's just confidence right there. McAdoo not wasting any time firing away. Now, here's Valentine to the inside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First personal foul. First team foul. Rockets leading by five. Johnson outside. To the middle, here's McAdoo, and it's blocked. With smarts and size, Sitnik will cause your offense problems. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And he stays with it. Clock is at three. Here's Johnson. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Johnson's got the lead up to seven now for the Rockets. Valentine passes to Oberdy. King with it. Shoots over Johnson. King, that's good. King's got 22. Right now, he's their best option. You just got to keep feeding him the ball when he wants it. Yeah, counting on an official score could be the path that goes into point. Now here's Johnson. He's got 14. Johnson left side. Just over a minute and a half play here in the third. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He is simply torching a defense that has no answers for him. Now here's Valentine. Eight points for him. King, that's good. That's too easy for him. You can see how comfortable he is inside. Johnson outside. Johnson outside. Over Valentine. Magic Johnson again. Johnson. Johnson's got the lead back up to seven now for the Rockets. Smart play by Magic, taking full advantage of an opportunity to shoot the ball. Valentine passes to King. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Going inside. Johnson with the block. Tell you what, the long arms and great wingspan of Johnson well used and suited for the shot tonight. Bulls have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Overding gets the bucket. Overding's got six points. He's all about finding the open man. And this is why his teammates appreciate it. Johnson surveying the floor. It's over King. Johnson can't hit. Bulls trail by five. Good D by Johnson. For Houston, they've gone four and seven to get things started here in the second half. Wasted no time on that three. He's got 12. Unselfish play that time by Marcus Johnson. Recognized his team had a better look, and he got him the ball. Pass to Preston. Fades. Johnson with the rebound. Rockets leading by seven. Here's McAdoo. Good, coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. And I think Magic Johnson gets more joy out of making the assist than any other part of the game that he excels in. Constantly looking to set them up for scores. Now, here's Valentine. He's got eight. Here's Preston. Pass to Sigma. Valentine with it. Driving in. That's good. Best at number five on a five for eight night shooting. Rockets have gone six and nine and four here in the second half. They've got to be happy with that. Number one, Johnson. He is hurt. Good on the bucket. Johnson. 
Boston has got eight points here in this quarter. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Sigma the pass to King. Unable to get that one. Good D by Johnson. The Rockets have gone 7 of 10 on their field goal attempts here in the third. And McAdoo kicks to Johnson. Johnson the pass to Johnson. Back to Johnson. Shot clock at five. Houston needs to get a shot. It's blocked. And they're able to recover. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Davis has checked in for pressing. Bulls trail by nine. And here is Valentine. He's got ten. Up top, King. Back to Valentine. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Valentine's got 12 in the game. Johnson up top. 32 points in the game. Johnson against King. Johnson left side. Johnson kicks to Johnson. It's up a three. It's hauled in by Sidney. Sidney's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Here's Davis. Yes, once again, it remains perfect. Six attempts and six hits. Well, I like how King looks to set up his guys. He's known as a scorer. But showing you there, he can find the open teammate as well. Pass to Johnson. To Johnson. Johnson in the corner. Johnson right side. It's over King. Johnson gets the bucket. 16 points for him. Bulls trail by seven. Now Valentine. He's got 12. And that one is good by Davis. And you know, the one thing that stood out tonight is his score. He's kept attacking even as they've been trailing. Johnson dishes to McAdoo. Got a hand on it. Now here's Valentine. Davis. The rebound by Johnson. I thought that one would go down. A little puzzling, it didn't. Pass to Noble. Here's McAdoo. the layup off the mark. For Chicago, they've won 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. King, that's good. Confidence poking through on that mid-ranger. Tough shot to get a feel for. It. Johnson outside. And stolen by Valentine. And they're moving it up. King's shot is off. Houston leading by three. Johnson outside. Tony's on. Johnson's got ten points in just the second half. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now, they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Rocket shooting has been out of this world. 74% from the field. Chicago with the ball. They trail by seven. There's Valentine. 12 points for him. Here's Sigma. Nice shot from the wing. Sigma's got four points now in the quarter. Not sure I agree with the choice of going to the fadeaway there. Overly complicating what was already a good look. Johnson outside. Six to shoot. Known as 
the microwave. Johnson, one of those players that can heat it up in a hurry. And once he does, watch out, because he's going to be aggressive and filling that bucket up. Scott is checked in for Johnson. And it's the Bulls with the ball. Seven point differential. Davis looking for an opening. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Davis has got 17. Houston leading by five. Tucker with the ball. Johnson at the elbow. The shot's good. He's got 18. Strong take by Johnson. He can score anywhere on the floor. And here is Valentine. Fairhoven. Good. Beautiful timing and extension. Great move to the rack. And so it's Houston with it. Up top, Tucker. Pass to Johnson. Over Davis. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Johnson's got 20. And when he's getting his on offense, it usually results in a lead like this. Here is Sigma. Fades and shoots. Again, Chicago. Using his height advantage there feels like nobody can block him from this spot. You like seeing guys use their physical advantages like this. Great shot. Now here's Tucker. Pass to Johnson. A minute 20 left to play in the third. Just five to shoot. That one drops for him. 22 points for him. 110 left in the third quarter. Bulls trail by seven. Here's Cooper. Eats away. It's good again. And an excellent seventh grade shooting night so far. With exceptional fundamentals, exquisite footwork, and a jumper that cannot be blocked. Sick of the score in a variety of ways. That's good from Johnson on the assist from Tucker. Johnson's got 10 points here in the second half. A super high percentage shot there. You just can't allow him to get that close. Here's Sigma. And he buries that one, tripping the rim on the way down. Can't ask for a better shot. This is how you run an offense. Johnson left side. Back to Tucker. Some nice passing there by Houston. Here's Johnson. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. 15 seconds left in the third quarter. Not a bad idea to pump the brakes a little bit and slow it down right here. Yeah, you'd like to end the quarter on this possession. And a jump to finish it off. Oh, beauty. And you talk about a total 180-degree turn from the first half. It looked like a completely different team in the second. They've really upped their energy. Doing a great job pushing the ball. Magic Johnson, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Houston. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. And we've got more in 2K Sports coming your way after this break.
banked in off the glass. King's got 28 points for the game. With the game in the balance, he is ramping up his intensity. You can feel it. And that's exactly what Coach needs for him. A big offensive effort down the stretch. Up top, Tucker. Started by Davis. A nice shot by Tucker. Boy, how much fun has this game been? Come on, man. Each side putting on an offensive clinic. I have really enjoyed it. It's incredible that they're still playing at this level. Here's King. It's rebounded by Houston. Outside, Scott. Johnson outside. Good. Nice job down low. And now it's a nine-point rocket lead. It's obvious he's looking to continue to attack on offense so this lead can expand. And if you were hitting like he is in this one, you would be too. His efficiency is up a lot for this. Davis gets a wide-open look. Good for his ninth make in just 12 shots. That's an even 75% shooting. Quality decision. Have to know when to pass it and know when to shoot it. Man, on the best in the league at battling his pace with the group. And the Bulls win some changes. Mills is checked in, and it's Valentine in for Jordan. Johnson, he's checked in for Houston. And so it's Davis to bring the ball up for the Bulls. They trail by nine points. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Five on the clock. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Davis has got ten points in just the second half. And gets leading by seven. Over to the left wing. Johnson outside. Over Valentine. And Houston again with the button. On offense, this Johnson is relentless. Oh, he's hustling to get himself looks. Now, here's Valentine. King outside. With some art. Count that bucket. King's got four points in the quarter. And he's trying to carry this offense, but he can't do it alone. These guys need to help him. Johnson outside. Elbow shot is on the way. Johnson can't hit. Tell you what, guys, you don't see that often. I mean, when he's this open, usually it's lights out. Davis. A shot. No good. Pockets leading by seven. Johnson in the corner. Hits it again. Wow. Johnson. And we've come to expect this from him. Filling it up in effortless fashion this quarter. Davis against Johnson. Davis kicks to Valentine. Outside for Davis. A shot by Valentine, no good. Really good anticipation. Got a hand in the face right there. Really disruptive defensively. Great challenge. And they pick Maybe up two. Johnson. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. Pass to Mills. Here's Valentine. Outside, Davis. Shoots over Johnson. It's good. And the rocket lead is cut down to nine. They're back within single digits after that one from Davis. Johnson left side. Over Valentine. Connects again. Looking to stretch this lead out even further, going right after his shot. And the defense continues to not be up to the challenge. It's Davis on the wing. A 19-foot shot right through the center that time. All net. Davis has got 25 points in the game. Johnson outside. 
into the paint. And there's Johnson. That's good on the assist by Johnson. Johnson's got 46 points. Found the crease, took advantage, and got it in close. An edge to this lead. They're having their way. Cooper a screen on Johnson. He had a nice open look right there. Here's Johnson. Nothing like a sweet alley -oop. Most importantly, they build on this lead. Valentine passes to Mills. Valentine with it. He's guarded by Johnson. Johnson with the block. Now here's Tucker. He's guarded closely. Pass to Johnson. Johnson outside. Shot is good. He's made eight while missing only four. That's 67% shooting. And here are the Bulls now. It's a 13-point game. in with David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Coach Kevin Lockery had some advice for the team. He told them, you can do a lot of great things out there and still lose if you don't take care of the boards. I want to see more effort, gang rebounding, everyone involved. That was his only focus. Kevin? Thanks, David. Houston on D. This is the most they've led by 13 points. Valentine with it. There's the screen. Pulls up. High post. He climbs that one off the back iron and down it falls. I think he's got to show more fight than that. Can't give up on the play once he gets screen. You got to continue to fight through. And coach is definitely going to be frustrated with that effort. Or lack of one, that is. Some nice passing there by Houston. Johnson, the pass to Johnson. in there. Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got his third assist on the night. I don't know what the heck the defense was thinking there. I mean, he's cast from this area of the floor and they let him walk into it. Yeah, you got to show more fight on defense. This isn't the guy you give room to shoot from the mid-range. Here's Sigma. Sinks that one from the post. Sigma's got 14 points here in the second half. This is where you get Sigma the ball because he's skilled at finishing when he's in the paint. Johnson kicks to Johnson. Pass to Johnson. On the high post. Good. That's another bucket. Johnson. Bulls trail by 13. Here's Preston. up to the strike and it's good off the back rim and in and with how effective he's been offensively you'd like to see him be more aggressive he needs to keep shooting if they want to cut into this lead shots it up top the 19 foot shot here's McAdoo down to five on the shot clock back to Johnson over Valentine. They grab their own miss. Here's McAdoo. That's it. He's 7 for 12 now in the game. McAdoo, a talented scorer on the block now. I mean, he knows exactly how to get the position he wants to score down there. And here is Valentine. And no good. Good D by Johnson. So it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Houston. 13-point lead. Keeping constant pressure on the defense. McAdoo certainly one of the tougher assignments in the league. 
Shoots over Johnson, and Percy gets it to go. Now Johnson. Inside. Nice shot by McAdoo. McAdoo's got six here in this quarter. This is what a floor jumper looks like. The vision and the pinpoint pass. Now here's Valentine. Kang outside over Johnson. And all of them to win that time before dropping in. King's got 12 points here in the second half. Rockets leading by 13. Johnson outside. Here's McAdoo. And it's King with the rebound. Well, the Bulls are just phenomenal here tonight. 73% from the field. 121 left in the game. Another possession, another assist. You know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen. The rocket shooting has been wild. 76%. That's just unbelievable. And so game three of this final series is just about in the books. And we got to respect this win for the Rockets. Coach, they were trading blows for a while there, but in the end, they were able to add some cushion to this lead. Yeah, it was a hard-fought game. They just had better execution to close it out. With this again, another assist for him. With no one getting in his way, he goes for the easy money. Excellent play. Johnson outside. And then Johnson with the dunk. They've turned it up a notch here during this home stretch. Yeah, saving their best basketball for when it mattered the most. That's how you secure a win. Here's King. Johnson with some nice D. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. On the wing, Johnson. Over Valentine. And again. And they were all business tonight. All about the work. Came in here and took care of business. They had the right attitude and approach needed to get a tough road win. Houston taking the W here. Well, that's that'll do it. Thanks for joining us for Game 3 of the NBA Finals. Thank you, for our terrific reporter, David Aldridge, we along with Clark Kellogg and Mike Fricello, I'm Kevin Harlan, saying we'll thank you for tuning in tonight. So long and good night, everyone.